We're in the kitchen right now with Nikita from Geyer's yes. Sausage Kitchen, and we have two of Stephanie's favorites, <laughs> Italian sausage and squash. And it's yeah. so yummy. <laughs> yes, yeah, so today we're making a stuffed spaghetti squash. Yay. So, Mickey, if you want to start pulling it, I pre-cooked them. You know, obviously, when you bake a spaghetti squash, you want to core it and bake it for about 45 minutes to an hour. I always put a little olive oil and salt and pepper just to give mm. it that flavor while mm -hmm. it's baking. And you just use a fork and scoop that you out? You can just yeah. use a fork. Mm -hmm. See how it all falls right out. Oh, oh yeah. So oh. that's going. I have the Italian sausage cooking. Now I mixed um, a pound and a half of uh, uh, the hot and mild Italian. Okay. okay. So just because some people don't like it too spicy, but it gives it that little extra And these flavor. are Geyer's yeah. homemade sausages, Yes, it right? is. It is our Italian sausage. Mm -hmm. It's wow. made with the fennel. And as you can, I don't know if you can see, it's we're very lean. Everybody worries about the fat content. Right. We're oh, very there lean, so yeah, there's much. not... So no. you don't have to switch to a turkey so sausage. So you don't have oh. to worry too oh, that's much good. about it. Okay. And then while this is sauteing, while Bobette got this, Linda, we're going to add, um, to make the filling for the stuffed spaghetti squash, okay. I have, we have the garlic, so okay. I have about two cloves of garlic. Next? The onions are next. Okay. And then keep there it going. And then there's rosemary. Rosemary. And thyme. Rosemary and thyme. And All fresh chives. spices. Oh, yes. And then sage. You don't need to stir in between? Yes, this smells amazing. Right here. What about these? Yes, that, now that's roasted red um, peppers. I love like a fire roasted red oh, pepper because they're yeah. seasoning. The seasoning to it, yep, you can put, throw that right in there. You can hear it starts going. Mm -hmm. And then next to is the tomatoes. Yeah. Okay. And so I use cherry tomatoes. I like, you know, the wild ones with all the different colors and the fun because it kind of gives it a little bit different texture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as this is sauteing and we have the meat going, since the meat is fully cooked, we can do is we can add it all right in together. Okay. And so the wow. juices of the sausage will give all of this wow. like a good, very mm -hmm. nice flavor. I wish you could smell these herbs like we can because <laughs> oh, yes. the fresh herbs are yeah, just it so does. It aromatic. Makes, it makes such a difference to use fresh herbs when you're doing this. Now, wow. is this something that you keep as part of your carryout as ever? Yes, yeah, yeah. You can call in and place the order. Place the order like, for mm -hmm. this? Okay, because oh, yes, yes. I'm thinking I don't have all those herbs. Keep it, yeah, to keep <laughs> I mean, it fresh. <laughs> I'm thinking I want you to make this for me. <laughs> and how long does this cook for? Oh, that doesn't take much time. Once, because with the meat already cooked, it takes about five, seven minutes total oh, to wow. saute. Yeah, saute. Yeah, it's very, very easy. And then what I did is I have um, the recipe online. We make a okay. homemade cream sauce. It's really easy. There's okay. no flour, so anybody who's gluten-free, you don't have to worry. It's just heavy cream, Havarti dill, and Parmesan cheese. And it goes wow. in here? And it goes in there. It was already amazing. How can you get yeah, better? it's going to be so good. <laughs> yeah, so now, now you mix it all together. Okay. And this then, is a great recipe, very got creative. One thing left. Oh, thank you. And then the finally, yep, the spaghetti squash. So if oh, you want to yes. hand it on oh, over. Oh, squash. <laughs> and that's why, yeah, I always like to use a pan with the you get adding. There you go. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh and gosh. serving it in the yes. shell is a great idea. Yeah, so yeah, once it's all mixed together, you put it back in the shell. You need to. You want to yeah, I'm not doing a very good job of this. <laughs> Here Hope you don't mess up these shells, Mickey. I did a little aggressive digging, but I think it's okay. <laughs> That's okay. okay. It's they look good. They look good. <laughs> and it really, you forget how easy spaghetti squash oh. is to bake and serve. It is. I mean, and it comes right out of the shell. It's nothing to be scared and of. And if you're late, you're coming home late from work, whatever, you can even bake it in the microwave. Oh. oh. If you're yeah. scared of a microwave. But some people don't like using it. the microwave. Yeah, the, the, the hardest part is by far cutting it. Cutting it, it. yeah. Be I mean, careful. I grew up with spaghetti squash served with, you know, regular old marinara sauce yes. on it. But yes. this is this way is, better. Well, I love our Italian sausage. Does it taste as good if you cook it in the microwave? Um, no, because you don't let it, I mean, the shell doesn't get quite as crispy. You don't eat the shell anyways. I don't know, I just like the oven It has better. a roasted taste. When yes, you put it yeah, in the I like oven. the oven better. Wow. And then all you have to do is sprinkle a little bit of this Parmesan cheese on top. I need okay. a fork. Oh, I have one. And does, it, <laughs> <laughs> and does it go in the oven after Yes, that, it or? does go in the oven. And with the magic go of ahead, TV, I ahead. have a couple. It's going it's going oven. Oven. <laughs> you want to pull one out? I have sure. a couple ahead. ready oh. to go. I got the gloves right there. Can I have forks for you, Linda? We couldn't help but, you know. Linda, look. <laughs> oh, we got forks. Look. You don't have to use the dirty one. <laughs> Ooh, these are heavy. All right, so this yeah, is Italian huge. sausage stuffed spaghetti mm -hmm. squash. Mm -hmm. I will admit, Bo Beth and I had a little cheat. It is yes, absolutely it is. <laughs> amazing. You can order this from Geyer's Sausage Thank Kitchen you. or the recipe is online if you want to make it yourself. But I'm telling you right now, the key <laughs> is to use Geyer's Italian sausage because yes. that is what makes this different than anything else. So give it a try, give it an order, and I'm excited that there's four of these right here for us because we are going to dig in. All right, Nikita, this might be one of my favorites. Thank you. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you for sharing Thanks this with us. Again. Thank you. We're getting our fall on. All right, Mickey, we'll see you back here tomorrow, okay? You have to come and work another day. Yay. <laughs> All right. Everybody enjoy the rest of your day and take some time and enjoy the Sun Coast view. Mm. That's it.